simbisan, de kavimbisan, de simba muko vimbi ka. Barik po van de jira, asan dina ku kapira, anzi jizi shan, ziva shan, ne chipo. What inspired me to make this record, for the most part, is the guitar sample. You know, I, I'm a sucker for guitars, and um, it, it just gave me this feeling. I was like, wow, and um, it reminded me of the. Of, the, of, of this record I made with Take Five a while ago, in Enzo And uh, I've always thought about making it like a trilogy. And I, 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 I did a second one to, to it, you know. For me, that record, if I was Mike Jackson, that would be my Billy Jean. So I always feel like I want to run with it. And um, I felt like this could be the epilogue to that record. So I was just giving two samples, we had that guitar. We started building from that, you know, we gave it this soft Afro rock feel to it, I think. And uh, yeah, it came out dope, it came out dope. Uh, when I came into the studio, I had um, this melody for Jeezy, because he said he wanted to do what you were part three. So I was just playing around with some chords, you know, like finger picking. So I had that, but it wasn't quite filling it. So I just started looking for samples. Yeah, I found this guitar. It's, it's just amazing. But at this point, I was thinking more of a country record and more of a singer-songwriter kind of record. But when I found these guitars, it, it just brought it home, you know? because it's one of those four brothers, Boondo Boys kind of thing that we were trying to achieve. And when I found this, I actually thought that we got that classic. You know, I, I started missing flows, you know. You know what I'm saying? So I started mumbling and, and I thought about putting words to that flow. You know, I think I set up the whole night in the studio going crazy trying to come up with the lyrics. And I think I did I right. <laughs> And um, when I laid down the verses, we started thinking about where to go with the cars. You know, because the cars is just like the, um, sort of like the vibe of the old track because the instrumentation just goes crazy when the cars comes. It's hype, it's, 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 it's vibrant. You got this dance type thing to it and it's traditional. And uh, I thought about a lot of brothers in the game who can execute that kind of chorus, and I kept thinking about Alka Nim. Jeezy always had Alka in his mind. We once did a record with Alka, I know what he can do, what he's capable of doing, so I wasn't, I wasn't too surprised to hear this, but it was something that was just amazing and actually perfect for the track, and I never heard anyone else after this. <laughs> We talking to Rusambo, you know, we was just messing around me and Jeezy, talking about doing joints, you know, because we've been doing it, you know, about my tennis and my bingo, my man be hustling hard, you know what I mean? So we just thought about doing a song that had total crossover appeal, that could make the Zen market respect boss Jeezy and not associate him with these up and comers, you know what I'm saying? He a legend like that. So I thought, let's do some real like social commentary. Let's talk about current affairs. And everybody knows about Lobola. Shout out to my boy, Diamond Boy Munya. He brought out Lobola movie. We just bringing out the Lobola audio like that. You know what I'm saying? Soundtrack of life. And we just talking about what people go through when they're experiencing intermarriages and things like that. You know, families joining, expectations. You know what I'm saying? Offerings. And just making the whole union of marriage sanctified again and bringing it back to life. So anyway, we was just messing around in the studio. We recorded this track, I think, three times. Data kept getting lost. My nigga Jesus getting frustrated. I was like, now nah, my nigga, I got you, you know. I was living out of town then. I be coming in, doing a session, sleeping over at his lab. Shout out to Jesus family, good hosts, one love, nice hospitality. My sister Flame live up the road, so she be hollering at niggas. I know some but it's so good. 
So I'm like, yo, man, Rusambo is the best thing I think I could offer this year as far as family music because it goes beyond just entertainment. It talks about the value of life. It gives young girls, uh, like, you know, a bar to live up to. I don't want to go to my man's house through the wrong format. I want my parents to get the dowry and be proud of me and present me right. Same as guys, you know, we just sit in a bar to say, if you're a real king, such as Emmanuel, but, you know, take a right, get the wedding, you know what I'm saying? The whole jitsu, yeah. We're bringing culture back to life, modernizing it, making it contemporary. Shout out to Cuddy Beats, you know what I'm saying? Mastering the joint, you know, making it sound sweet. Mani Gavato, I know you out there like that, yeah, you know, I'm just doing this. Yeah, everybody's a winning team. This is me, I got dreams, and I'm gonna cut another track with Jesus later on this year for my album After the Fall, you know, doing big things. Yeah, why is there? Straight. At the end of the track, I think. Because the arrangement on that record is really crazy. It's like, it's like Jesus before Jesus, you know what I mean? And uh, it just slows down, it just mellows down. And I thought about, you know, playing around with languages and, you know, I'm cool with Sister Flame, you know, she lives around the way. All of that, uh, she came through the studio at night and uh, it was just intense combustion. I was called by Jeezy and Alka to come and collaborate on this song. And I really wanted to collaborate on this song because it talks about our culture, our roots, which is being lost by a lot of youths today in this world because it's a thing that people are, are, they want to formalize it, but it's not a formality. Our culture is Kunorora, Sambo and all of that. So it's always good to talk about those things in this 21st generation because we need to stick to the basics. If we know where we come from, then we know where we're going. So it's always good for us to stick to the basics. I really enjoyed working on this track and they actually say to me I could sing in my language that I know, Debele. So it talks, it's got Debele and it's got Shona. So which really makes it come together in a proper way, representing our Zimbabwean culture. And I really love the song.